spirit husband is a satanic fraud my name is Olusegun Mokuolu a lot of women continue to struggle with the issue of spirit husband and it feels so real to them because they have experiences that suggest to them that they have spirit husband and it's quite difficult to convince many of them otherwise now let me say this if you are not born again you can be possessed by a demon if you are born again you can be oppressed by a demon i hope you can see the difference in that in in, in the two statements if you are not born again you can be possessed by a demon but if you are born again you can't be possessed but you can be oppressed by a demon now for most women if they have sex in their dreams or they are struggling to have relationship relationship doesn't work and so on they begin to seek help and one convenient lie that false prophet and people often will tell them is that they have a spirit husband because it's convenient you have packed the book on somebody else you are blaming it on another spirit whereas it is completely false number one there is nothing like a spirit husband you see if after listening or watching this message you still go about saying you have a spirit husband it means you have never you never have had an understanding of what this message is all about there is nothing like spirit husband there are demons we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and power now if you are listening to this and you are not born again your problem is not spirit husband your problem is that you don't know jesus and your deliverance the deliverance that you need is salvation you need to accept jesus christ as your lord and savior if a man is in christ is a new creation all things have passed away behold all things have become new jesus or the holy spirit that you will receive when you give your life to jesus cannot cohabit with a demon the holy spirit cannot be living in you and then another spirit will live in you when you become born again you are married to jesus so if you want to use the word spirit husband jesus becomes your spirit husband but if you are born again and you are having experiences that is suggesting to you that or they are telling you that you have a spirit husband that is a lie from the pit of hell but you notice that many continue to indulge in sin i've spoken to several sisters who feel they have spirit husband but i asked them are you engaging in fornication yes almost every single person says yes and the bible says if you break the egg the serpent will bite it says flee fornication there is a reason why scripture says you should flee fornication you are fornicating you are indulging in sin that gives room for you to be oppressed but just the fact that you have sex in a dream doesn't mean that you already have a spirit husband i'm going to put a link in the description on why people have sex in their dreams so that you can watch that video and understand why people have sex in their dreams but stop going about with this lie they are telling you and you are believing it all the time that you have a spirit husband the problem is you don't understand marriage you don't know what marriage is you are desperate to be married so you keep thinking oh once i have this failed relationship then it must be a spirit husband have you never even thought it to say that maybe god is saving you from a terrible marriage those people who got married and they got stabbed in their marriage and were killed could have been the death could have been avoided if they didn't marry that person if that relationship had failed you are you are suffering because you are ignorant of the word of god unfortunately rather than acknowledge your ignorance my people perish for lack of knowledge not for lack of prayer but rather than acknowledge that you you prefer to believe the lie of the devil you prefer to believe things that are not in the scriptures and then you keep going about seeking help where there is no help there are instances people have gone to occult people habalis or whatever they call them to cast out spirit husband from them it's very convenient false prophet that's what they tell you you go to a false prophet you say i'm struggling no man is coming even if he comes the relationship doesn't last and so on. 
Someone who wants your money, what do you think he's going to say to you? He's going to tell you that you have a spirit husband. Because he knows you won't know what to do with that. And then some will even tell you clearly that you will need money so that they can deliver you. When you come to Jesus, you are completely delivered. Jesus set you free completely. Why are you believing lies? How long will you continue to believe lies? And if you are possessed, it does not cause anything to drive that demon out in the name of Jesus. It is instant. You don't need to go and fast. You don't need to do anything. As long as you are ready for Jesus, that demon will leave you instantly in the name of Jesus. It's not something you'll be going everywhere saying you are seeking for help. You have a spirit husband. You don't understand marriage. And many are not ready to even learn what is marriage. You think marriage is about you. You are looking at your age. You are getting anxious. You are looking at your other colleagues. That's a sign that you, are, you don't even know Jesus. Marriage is not about you. It's about God. It's about the purpose of God. God had a work to do. He created a man to do it and gave that man a woman to do it. Marriage is not about you having children, you having sex. Marriage is not about loneliness. God didn't create man to be lonely. He was addressing aloneness. He said it is not good for a man to be alone, not lonely. Aloneness means that there is a part of that man that is needed for him to accomplish the purpose of God. That's what God was talking about. God was talking about his purpose when he said it is not good for a man to be alone. He didn't say it is not good for a man to be lonely. You are lonely because you don't have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. You are lonely because you don't know Jesus. You are lonely because there is an emptiness in your life. And you are trying to fill that emptiness with a man. You are trying to fill that emptiness with another human being. God didn't create another human being to be your source of joy. So you are worried, you are going up and down. If they ask you to bring money, you are ready. But Jesus is saying, come to me free of charge. Just free of charge. You don't want to believe him. You are running everywhere. There is nothing like spirit man. Do you know why the devil, you know, uh, conjoined that fraud? You know, when somebody is possessed and you say the person has spirit man, the person is not alarmed. But when you tell the person there is a demon inside of you, that becomes alarming. So, because the demon doesn't want to go out, he gives a sexy name. He says he's a spirit husband. That's for those who are not born again, who are actually genuinely possessed. But I want to tell you, if you are living in sin, you are already full time under the clutch of Satan. Because people think to be possessed is just to have one spirit inside of you troubling you. No. When you are living in sin, you become a slave to sin. A slave to sin is under the control of Satan. Anybody living in sin is under the control of Satan. The Bible talks about the spirit of this world. In the heart of the children of disobedience. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2. Anybody who is not born again is possessed. Every single person on the face of the earth. There is a spirit that the Bible calls the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that lives in the children of disobedience. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2. So stop, stop listening to lies. Many women have made very terrible decisions on this issue of spirit husband. It's so amazing that Satan will make you to believe lies than to believe the truth. I've had many keep arguing and say, no, sir, you don't understand. There is this spirit husband. Where did you say spirit husband in the scripture? What is spirit husband? It is lie mostly in Africa. Have you had anybody in the West saying that they have spirit husband? It is lies that you have been fed with from the kingdom of darkness. There is nothing like spirit husband. Some women have gone ahead to sleep with ministers, with false prophets, not ministers of God, false prophets, false preachers, in the bid to cast out spirit husband. I'm telling you, they will make you, they will degrade you, they will take anything of valuable in your life if you are seeking help where there is no help. If you are looking for anybody to cast out spirit husband from you. It is very easy to marry if you understand marriage. God has made provision in his word 
for you to understand marriage, but you are not ready. You are doing boyfriend and girlfriend. You are fornicating. Any anybody who comes to your life, you will fornicate. And then you are saying, "Oh, it's not working. It's not working." Is that how a child of God lives? Does a child of God indulge in fornication? Is your life pleasing to God? The Scripture says, "If if a man, if the will of a man is pleasing." To God, He makes even His enemies to be at peace with Him. Is your own life pleasing to God? Are you living to please God? If a man asks you for a nude picture, you are quick to send it. If an unbeliever approaches you, you will you will you will enter into that relationship. You are just doing things carnal way. You are doing things worldly way, and then you are going about saying you have spirit husband. Instead of you to repent of your sin and turn to Jesus and begin to learn how does the kingdom marriage works. Because there is worldly marriage and there is kingdom marriage. And you are not born to know the kingdom marriage unless you sit down to learn it. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Why did he say you should learn? Because you don't know. Have you taken the yoke of Jesus upon yourself and land? He said, come to me, all ye that labor and every lady, and I will give you rest. You have been running everywhere. Today is your day of rest. He is saying to you, come, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke, take my yoke. So there's something you need to take. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. One of the signs that you are carrying the yoke of Jesus is that you are ready to learn the way of Christ. If you are not ready to learn, you will keep suffering like this. You will grow till 50. It will be the same issue that will be battling you in your life. But it can all end today with a simple repentance in the name of Jesus. There are a few people that really have demonic possession that may require somebody to pray with them. There is no big deal about this thing, brethren. Don't let people deceive you. That's why I don't use the word deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. Because it connotes something wrong to people today. There is no big deal about demons. They are already defeated on the cross by Jesus Christ. I remember a sister, she said she, she, she was having spirit husband and so on. And she kept on seeing somebody having sex with her. And she would even get wet physically. And then I asked her, when was the last time you, you engaged in fornication? Maybe she said like two weeks ago. You are living in sin. Two people, don't you get it? You cannot continue in sin that grace of God may abound. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Said, God forbid. So, I led her to Christ. And then I said, see, now, any demon in your life will leave you instantly. So I just simply said, in the name of Jesus, you this demon, you know I know you, get out of her in the name of Jesus. That was the end. That was the end. About three months later, she sent me a message. She said she has never had any of those experiences. I said, you are not going to have it, but make sure you go and see no more. There is no big deal. There is nobody knew. If I'm not sharing it, you won't even know. We didn't write it everywhere and say, ah, we are casting out demons. No, it's not about demon. It's about Jesus. We want to get rid of the demon so that you can begin to know Jesus. Jesus is the focus, not this demon. What can a demon do that has been defeated and condemned to eternal condemnation? Stop making big deal of the power of Satan. Jesus said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Every power belongs to Jesus. I say this boldly to you again. Every power on earth and in heaven belongs to Jesus. But some of you, you hold Satan in higher esteem than you hold the word of God. You believe so much in the power of Satan than you believe in the, in the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. The beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. God was not created. He has no beginning. He has no ending. Satan was created. There was a day he was made as a Lucifer. He has a beginning and we know his end. Not so with the Lord Almighty. Why then will you be exalting the power of Satan? Ordinary demons. That any, any, any baby in the Lord who is born again can cast out demons. And just say get out in the name of Jesus. It is the name of Jesus that drives demons away. But are you ready to repent of your sin? 
You are living in sin, but you are seeking solution. You can't find it. Like I do say, you are living in sin and you are praying for your enemies to die. Do you want to commit suicide? Do you want to kill yourself? Because you are the enemy of your own soul. The wages of sin is death. So if you are living in sin and you are praying for enemies to die, you will be the first person to die. Because you are the enemy of your own soul. Let me tell you, that is unless you repent, Jesus said, except you repent, there is no solution anywhere. You will never find solution while you continue to live in sin. You will never find it anywhere. Go everywhere. Let them do whatever they do. You will come back to this truth. You won't find solution except you repent. Because that is what Jesus came to pay for on the cross of Calvary. He came to pay for that sin. He came to pay a price for your sin on the cross of Calvary. All he's asking you today is repentance. It's repentance. Particularly many of you who have identified with Jesus. If you are an unbeliever and you want to give your life to Jesus, oh, glory be to God. Call upon the name of Jesus. Confess your sin to him. Ask him to be the Lord of your life. Ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit. If you need somebody to pray with you, my number, my email address, they will be in the description below. Please feel free to message me or call me. We can pray together. I'm just your brother in Christ. And everything is free. Please don't, don't say, uh, what will I give? Don't give anything. I'm, I have nothing I'm giving to you other than the name of Jesus. It is free. We will only just pray together as brethren. I can pray. But for many of you that know Jesus, you only need to get rid of this ignorance from your head. And now sit down and begin to learn how does God join his own children in marriage? How does God bring a spouse to somebody's life? When Adam wanted to get married, it was God who was involved. When Isaac wanted to get married, it was the father who was involved. When Joseph wanted to get married, it was the king who was involved. All of these people didn't stress themselves to get married. God is not a partial God. You should not stress yourself to be married because that marriage is not about you. It's about God. So if it is about God, why are you restless? Why are you anxious? You say, oh, all these relationships are filled. If they are succeeded and you have died in marriage, what would you have said? So I'm calling you today to come and learn how God makes his own children to get married. And that's why I want to introduce to you our free Bible marriage course. Brethren, it is free from beginning to the end. Completely free. You will do it at your own pace, at your own time by email. All you need to do is just to send an email to BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com and simply express your interest to enroll for the free marriage course. That's all. That's all. Make sure when you write, you indicate to us that you are single because we have another course for married people. Just tell us that you are single and you are interested in this free marriage course. We will send it to you. Just go through it. You will see that your life will be changed. In fact, many people, as soon as they start the course, they start testifying. Oh, I never knew this is what marriage is about. Thank God I'm not married. Most people will say, thank God I'm not married before taking this course. It is not the course. The course is simply scriptures that we have put together. So don't think that we are saying we have one, one special course that is doing one magic. No, it is simply the word of God that we are presenting to you. And it is completely free. You also have the link. We have a lot of messages on Christian singles, on different aspects of marriage and issues of relationship, courtship, what you need to know and so on. We have it. A link to the playlist will also be in the description below. Just click on that link and then scan through. There are over a hundred short videos that addresses various aspects based on the scripture. Everything we teach is based on the word of God. Just invest in it to watch it. Instead of you giving money to false prophet, just, just watch. Just, just watch free. It's free. It's there for you. Free for life. Just watch it. If you don't get the email address, check the description. The email address and my phone number, they are there. Feel free to message me. Feel free to contact me. Everything is free. Freely we have received and freely we must give. 
you will not die in ignorance. God will show mercy to you. I believe very strongly that you are watching this message today because God has decided to show mercy to you. Your days of tears and running around are over. Commit your ways to Jesus Christ. He will show you mercy. My name once again is Olu Shegun Mokolu. Like I said earlier, my phone number and email address are in the description below. Please feel free to take advantage of it. I will also plead that you share this message with other believers or people you know specifically who are going through issues like this. Just copy the link, share it with them on WhatsApp or whatever platform that you can reach out to them. You may also consider subscribing to this channel. God bless you.